Hello everyone out there. So if you have your Gru repellent on, it is time for us to go back into Zork Nemesis. Now we are working our way through the conservatory. All right. Now. <clears throat> we recently just got uh, Let's see here. Let's see, what do I have here? I got the two albums. Since 732 GUE, the Frobaz Philharmonic Orchestra has consisted of nine instrumental mm. sections that align to form a crescent moon shape, filling half of the Zorchestral Amphitheater. The violin, the most soulful of the Zorchestral instruments, sounds a rich, plaintive melody when the bow draws across mm. fine platypus gut strings. Lesser strings are made from hungus gut, which, though economical, has a pungent scent which many find distracting. The Nambino is an Antherian percussion instrument that draws its design from the steel shipyard drums of the port of Marba. Its thundering notes amplify as they mm. resonate through the four apertures or nams of the drum casing, creating a droning overtone. The Miano is a type of Akkadian lyre that has sometimes been employed by conjurers for use in musical incantations, or alternately for line dancing at guild socials. When plucked with a Miano stick, the lyre sounds rich, deep notes, usually in a minor key. Mm. The fleasel is a wind instrument with a delicate high pitch that fluctuates as air is pushed past its reed to a series of brass fleasel valves. A long-time court favourite of Lord Dimwit Flathead's, the fleasel was once sounded 300 times in a single meal at Flatheadier Castle, where it announced the arrival of the 299 next courses. The Wurtmieser is a two-player folk instrument which requires one player to play the keys and another to pump the bellows, thus producing a disjointed harmonic blast, a Wurtmieser or worst marriage. Originating in the rural divides of the frigid river valley, this unsophisticated, unwieldy instrument is the least respected member of the Zorchestra. The ancient Gedereglini horn sounds its strange hollow timbre as two players blow from either end at once, varying pitch as they cover and uncover the horn's many apertures. The Gedereglini is sometimes referred to as the lover's horn and is ceremoniously played at most Zork weddings. Hmm. The Frobophone, first introduced as accompaniment to the Borfi Metropolitan Opera, is a deep, twisted-sounding horn which plays off the high-pitched fleasel in most orchestral movements. 
It should not be confused with the home of Robophone, which is not played at all, but used in, 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 in an attempt to broaden their minds. <coughs> The pocket cake, cake is a small, small percussion, percussion instrument you hit with thumping sound when slapped with a hand. As the keg clasp is moved rhythmically back and forth along, along the tubular body, body, the popper keg's pitch raises and lowers. The popper keg, keg is popular and very, very young, young, and those who refuse to commit of a two-player instrument. Most Zorkers destroy the origin of these eight instruments. Their proper placement within the Zork orchestral layout is critical to the success of the concert. The four the other, other instruments are Zork, the Fernie, the Umba, the bass chocophone, and the Nyarro, a non-considered part of the program of the Marmonic Orchestra. However, these instruments are popular in the Empire as an alternative music scene, which would suit what such groups as the Crew of Puppets, Groovy Chains, Curse of Day, and Dancehall Dungeon. Okay.
for the final performance of the evening, it gives me great pleasure to present to you in her debut performance the newest and most gifted prodigy of my conservatory, Alexandria Wolfe. We all know no concert is complete without the standard Zockian conclusory fanfare. Hit it, boys! <laughs> volunteers at the booth. Thanks again. Well, that was uh, very interesting. All right. Now. Why I'm getting the double clicks right now. Alright, so we now have to put these all in their proper positions. Alright. Violin will go, I believe, here. All right. Okay. So what we got here?
Okay, that's a work, Mazur. We got here. Okay, that's a. Uh, I know what that is. The late wife would not be pleased with the fleasel. Uh, that's an honest truth. Okay, what is this? All right. Okay, that's a Miano. So that goes... There we go. A Miano. Uh, this is the... This is the Frobophone. The notes are C, D, E, B, G. Their cadence is the harmony of the spheres. Okay. Are you with us today, child? Concentrate. C, D, E, B, G. How can you forget the notes? Without the harmony of the spheres, there can be no purity of the soul. God, she's a bitch. this one. Not that it really matters. Alexandria, there's something going on with my father. I thought it was something to do with Thadium and his battles with Elrond. Or 
Now I suspect it is far more dangerous than that. He says little of his latest adventure, only that it involves pure lead. And it is very dangerous. My, f my father would not harm us, but I fear he cannot save us either. You once said you wanted to explore the Empire, voyage across the Great Sea. Come with me, Lucian. My dear girl, please do not upset Madame Sophia. Uh, please do not be upset. Madame Sophia only wants only the best for you. You will always be my child, my only family. But you must always remember that you are one of those people for whom life has chosen a special destiny. We all believe in you, your magical talent. Be pure of heart and spirit, and I shall always be your loving father. Okay, that was interesting. What's this on the dresser, huh? Oh, Ooh, mirror. Okay, oh, we got a video. Brilliance and I, I know you're not ordinary. Don't you see that? You're brilliant. Important, magical. Please, don't throw away that power. I want to make my own mistakes. It's not worth it. Let him wait. Uh, 
then what's this? Uh huh. What's this? Alchemy. Jumbo books. Okay. Something about harmony. Oh! And of course, C, D, E, B. The order of the elements is the order of those notes. Long string. Harmony of spheres. Dr. Sertorius is a strange but fascinating man. As you know, I am not prone to dabbling in strange self-indulgent philosophies or womanish New Age experiments, but there is something to the man. Of that there can be no doubt. And still I wonder, might the doctor's way be the only way of securing power in the perpetually unstable world? This perpetually unstable world? I could have great use for him. And his philosopher's stone in my campaign against the Enchanters. I cannot hold them back much longer. Say nothing, I will write you further of this, of this further. Ma'am Sophia, you are right. We cannot wait any longer. We must take a risk. Meet me at the Temple of Agrippa. I will summon the others. What has begun must take its course. It is our only chance before we are destroyed, Sir Glorious. Your Ma'am Sophia, while we have never been formally introduced, I feel as if I have known you four years now. At least I know many things about you. I know you sleep with my husband. Ooh. I know you're only one of his main mistresses. Or did you think that he loved only you? Has he been teasing you with talk of your future of marriage? Did you imagine he would leave me for you and you would rule? Iron Dune has the next Lady Kane. Let me assure you, madam, that you have no future with my husband. He needs me, my family, and our lovely money. Without me, there is no Iron Dune, and there is nothing and no one he loves more than me, Elizabeth Kane. Okay. Interesting? No. Here. There's something here. Oh! It's a bathtub. It's the S there. Uh, what have I gotten myself into here? I'll have him not. I'll have him. I'll have him. Not. You're making me wild. Oh! As wild. As your two young mistresses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> I have eyes everywhere. I know all your games. I should beat you for your impudence. <laughs> I should beat you for your faithlessness. <laughs> but I don't care. Because you and I are going to be together forever. And when your mistresses are old and lust is just a dim memory, and all they care about is finding food soft enough for their toothless gums, we'll still be just like them. Just like this. Okay, that's uh, rather steamy. Okay. I think uh, 
satisfied with that, we're going to get out of here. Right. Uh, back to the lobby. Where, where's my... Ah, there's my way. <laughs> oh boy, that was... Not what I expected. However, uh, wait, take it. I guess this is the entrance. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs that I'm working on. Now, I played through the first four Zork games chronologically, uh, which is Zork 0, Zork 1, Zork 2, Zork 3. Uh, this is the fifth in the chronology of the series, although it was not the fifth one released. But I plan to play through the others. Now, I am also working my way through other games. And these all will premiere at 3 p.m. in a uh, two-week cycle. But I'm only going to give you a week's worth in my listing here. Uh, tomorrow you'll see me, if you watch this to the end here, you'll hear that I'm starting a new game. tomorrow That will premiere tomorrow. At least a new game to the lineup. <laughs> I am also working my way through other franchises. I'm working my way through the Indiana Jones games from LucasArts, currently on the fate of Atlantis. Working through Abe's Odyssey, new and tasty, a remake of the first game in the franchise of the uh, of the Oddworld franchise. I don't know, think I'll be getting all the others though. I am working my way through. Well, I do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum. I'm working my way through Outlast. I'm working my way through the Space Quest franchise. In fact, I'm on Space Quest VI, the last game of the franchise. And I'm working my way through the Doom franchise following Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer. I am actually near the end of the Doom Guy part of the franchise. I'm working on Doom 64. As I said, all these videos premiere at 3 p.m. 
Uh, on a weekly basis, I have videos that premiere at 10 a.m. Tuesday through Saturday morning. Tuesday is a fic reading, something I've written over the years. Uh, Wednesday is another game playthrough. Thursday is either Dead by Daylight or Monstrum 2 run. Uh, Friday is a fighting game story mode. Or, depending on how far I am could be a story mode, it could be a ladder playthrough. And Saturday is usually a retrospective. Now the morning videos usually show up at 10 a.m. Eastern, the afternoons, 3 p.m. Eastern. So please subscribe to the channel, I greatly appreciate that. Give this video a like, I greatly appreciate that. And come check out some of the other stuff that's up there on the channel. And until next time, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. Bye.